I get asked by buyers all the time why houses aren't selling. And whether you're a buyer or if you're the seller, you may have that same question. Most agents are gonna tell you there are three reasons that a home doesn't sell. But stay tuned, at the end, I'm going to give you one bonus reason as to why a house might not be selling. Hi, I'm Allison Can. I'm a realtor here in San Diego, California. Before we get started, please don't forget to subscribe and click the little bell so that you get notified when I put out new content. And also, if this video is at all helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Okay, let's dive in. The first reason that a house might not sell is the most obvious one, price. If a house is overpriced for the market, it's not gonna sell, it's just gonna sit there. Then you're gonna have to lower the price and lower the price until you figure out where that right price is to bring the buyers in. If a house isn't selling, that means that either the seller or the agent decided that it was best to try for a high price. That might be because they're looking like currently in today's market and the end of 2022, if they're looking at homes that sold in April of this year and using that as a comparable, that's not the price they should be using right now. So if they do, that house is going to sit. And until they figure out what that right price is, it's not gonna sell. The second is location. This isn't something you can control, right? The house is where it is, whether the house is in Carlsbad or La Jolla or you know, downtown San Diego, like you don't have control over that location. You also don't have control over if it's on a busy street or has a canyon view or is under power lines or is next to a school or so many things. So you can't control any of that, but that can be why a house isn't selling. Now the way to deal with that is price. So you have to price it correctly to take into account the location of the home and all of those things that could make it a great location or a more challenging location for buyers to want to purchase a home in. The third is condition. You have complete control over this. The condition of the home speaks volumes to a buyer from the pictures that they see to the front of the house when they drive by. I can't tell you how many buyers I have had be like, I don't wanna see the house because they drove by and it looked a mess and it could have been the perfect house, but they didn't wanna see it. Make sure that you clean up your house before it's being listed. Buyers will punish the house on price more than it will likely cost you to do the things to make it look better for sale right whether that's cleaning up a yard having a house power washed having windows clean painting it's like a fairly simple thing to do and it makes a massive difference changing out dirty carpets or at least getting them cleaned having the house cleaned before you list it all of those things even the just the dirty house buyers are going to discount the price on that and if if it's dirty and disgusting it's going to be sitting because buyers like kind of don't want to be in it so condition is super important and of course this can also be the big expensive things so they can see that the roof is in really bad condition or there's obviously a leak somewhere that hasn't been fixed or you know whatever that is there's cracks in different places that are freaking people out all of that can lead to a home not selling as well. The fix for that is you either need to fix the problem or reduce the price. Always goes back to price. You can reduce the price so that the buyer then has some more money so that they can do the fixes. But remember, when you do that, you know, a $10,000 reduction in price hurts you more than it helps the buyer. That's why it can be beneficial for you to just do the repairs. If you could have the whole house painted for $5,000 and that would take away the fact that the house feels dark and otherwise you were gonna reduce the price by $10,000, doesn't it make sense to go and get it painted? So think through those things. That it's not necessarily a price reduction is the best decision. 
And my fourth bonus reason that a house might not sell is the layout of the house. Sometimes just the configuration of a home is wonky, like especially the older houses. And you go down into like the North Parks and Normal Heights and all of that, you end up with some wonky houses. So sometimes that's just not gonna work for people. If you know that you have kind of a wonky layout and you're, your house is a little special, <laughs> you're gonna have to take that into account in the price as well. It all rolls back to price. So basically anytime a buyer asks me, why isn't this house selling? I tell them it's price. Because whether it's just the price, whether it's the location, that's the price. Whether it's the condition, that's the price. Whether it's the layout of the house, that goes back to the price. It's all based on price. So if you ever wonder why a house isn't selling and if you're selling your house and you wonder why it's not selling or you're concerned about the fact that you're going to be selling your house soon and what is it gonna take to make sure it sells, these are the important things to take into consideration. And ultimately, it all goes back to price unless you can fix things like condition. All right, I hope that helped. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions or if you think there's anything else that could keep a house from selling. Love to hear it. And check out my next video.